Let's take a look first at how we would determine the name for a binary acid. Uh, so first, a few examples of binary acids. The names of binary acids will always begin with the prefix hydro, and then the ending is going to come from the second element, which is part of the binary acid. Binary acids are called binary because they are acids which contain only two elements. They'll always have a hydrogen, and then they'll have another non-metallic element. The names for binary acids will always begin with the prefix hydro. The ending for the name of the acid is going to come from the second element that's part of this acid. Let's look at the example of HCl. We can call this compound hydrogen chloride, and that compound would typically be a gas. This gas can be dissolved in water. That's when it will form an acid as it dissociates and forms hydrogen ions. The name of the acid will be hydro to start. The ending will come from the chlorine or chloride ions. So we're going to call this hydrochloric acid. A second example would be HF. This would be called hydrogen fluoride. When that compound dissolves in water, the name for the acid will be hydrofluoric. Our final example is H2S. We would call this hydrogen sulfide. Again, this compound would typically be a gas because it's polar. It can dissolve in water to form an acid. The name of this acid will be hydrosulfuric. There is an exception to this naming convention. If we have a ternary acid that has a polyatomic ion where the name of that polyatomic ion ends in "-ide", we will use hydro in the prefix for the name of that type of compound. An example of this would be hydrogen cyanide. This is technically a ternary acid, but it will be named as a binary acid, so the name of this would be hydrocyanic acid. So it really belongs on the other side of this T-chart. Now let's take a look at some examples of ternary acids. We'll look at this example of HNO2 and HNO3. These are very similar acids. However, the names of them are going to need to tell us the difference between HNO2 and HNO3. So we need to consider what would be the name for the ionic compound. In this case, we have a hydrogen ion, which is paired with a nitrite ion, so we would call this hydrogen nitrite. This one, HNO3, is a hydrogen ion paired with a nitrate ion, so this would be called hydrogen nitrate. Uh, so as you're naming acids, we need to remember the following conversion. The "-ite ending for a polyatomic ion, such as nitrite, will convert to an "-us ending for the acid name. So HNO2 would be called nitrous acid. And then HNO3, because this is hydrogen nitrate, we need to know the following conversion here. 8 goes to ic. So HNO3 would be called nitric acid. One final note, uh, let's take a look at some examples of acids that are built using different oxoanions of bromine. So we have examples of four different acids here. All are built using hydrogen ions, which are paired with different oxoanions of bromine. The name for this compound would be hydrogen hypobromite. This would be hydrogen bromite. This would be hydrogen bromate. And this one would be hydrogen perbromate. So the names from the acids are again going to be derived from the names of the ionic compounds. HBRO would be hypobromous acid. Hydrogen bromite gives us bromous acid. Hydrogen bromate gives bromic acid. And finally, hydrogen perbromate 
gives us perbromic acid 